WGNC Sports Now, presented by Budweiser. Hey, Hafiday Guam, good evening. Welcome to PNC Sports Now. I'm Blake Watson. GFA gets kicked off. Youth soccer is back. That in just a bit. But first, the JFK Lady Islanders softball team have only dropped one game this season and are trying to keep their winning streak alive. They challenge the equally as tough Lady Panthers of Guam High. Here's more. The Lady Islanders wasting no time in this one. A wild pitch here will put JFK on base, a no-hit single. Next batter showing bunt. A wild pitch from Kayla Dempsey. That will allow the Islanders to steal second, and she's looking for third. The catcher trying to keep her there. Overthrown, JFK able to scamper home and get on the board first. One to nothing without even hitting the ball. They get a hit here, though. Deep to center field. That advances the runner to third. She's out. A chance for a double play. The throw is too late. She looked out to me, but hey, who am I? Islanders on two and called safe. Lady Panthers, their turn to hit. They get a great one here, deep to the outfield. Runner will score from first. JFK mishandled the ball in the infield. Guam High in return get an in the park home run. That pulls them ahead two to one in the scoreboard. But the green and gold able to gain some momentum. They get out of the inning. They only give up two runs. JFK will keep the bats going and are able to edge out the Lady Panthers of Guam High to continue their winning ways. Nine to eight, the final score from Aganya Heights. Goals weren't scarce in opening week matches of the Triple J Auto Group Robbie Weber Youth Soccer League played by close to 150 teams. 150 teams were at the GFA National Training Center in Harmon. Here's more. A couple of changes this season in the U-12 division of GFA's Robbie Weber Youth Soccer League. The U-12 division is played in a 7A side format without the offside rule and it will be played on a smaller sized field. This for those transitioning up from last year's U-10 division. Before the opening whistle of the first youth league matches, a moment of silence was also held in honor of Siegfried Dove Mortera, a coach with the Orange Crushers who had passed away recently. In Saturday's first set of U-12A matches, the Guam Shipyard Wolverines defeat the Islanders bet, Orange Crushers defeat Tsunami, the Strikers defeated the Tigers. In other matches, Wings Red defeat Community First Dedido Soccer Club, 5 to nothing. the final from that game. The Islanders of Soot, they edged out the Wings Black Club, 2 to 1. Daniel Glasscock and EJ Sablon both getting goals in the win. Sergio Varvra scores for the Wings Black. To the U-14 division we go. Strikers defeat the Islanders bet 3 to 2 the final in that game. The sidekick SC Slither get it Slither past the Southern Cobras 1 to nothing the final from that one. The Tigers defeat the Islanders a soot 4 to nothing that comes off the foot and a hat trick from Seung Min Kim and one goal gets Chris Fernandez. Wings Red defeated the Islanders Apaka in the late match. In U17A division, Islanders bet edge out quality distributors that score three to two, and the Wings Black defeat Sidekick SC eight to nothing. GFA Robbie Weber Youth Soccer League action will continue this weekend out in Harmon. Well, that will wrap things up. Don't forget GFA Robbie Weber Youth Soccer League plays on every Saturday out in Harmon, so be sure to go out there check a game, support local athletes. Until next time, my name is Blake Watson. I'll see you at the game. PNC Sports Now, presented by Budweiser.